Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition Grolsch Revisited 5% alcohol brewed in the Kingdom of the Netherlands or Holland since 1615 and in the year 1615 the Netherlands wasn't even officially independent yet they were in the midst of fighting against the Kingdom of Spain who ruled the country of the Netherlands within the Holy Roman Empire, the Spanish Habsburgs, in alliance with the Austrian Habsburgs, controlling the Holy Roman Empire. But in 1648, the, the United Netherlands did break away, finally, from Spain and the Empire, and that country's been independent ever since. Except that <coughs> The southern part of the Netherlands, which is now Belgium, continued to be Spanish. And then later was the Austrian Netherlands. And then it got annexed by the Netherlands in 1815, but they were not happy with that, so they revolted and became Belgium in 1830, 1831. Thick white head, clear golden appearance with some bubble streams. It looks like your typical Euro lager. Now, rape beer gives it bad scores. Beer Advocate says it's okay. The bros say it's okay. The world at large says it's great because this is one of the world's popular beers, Grolch. It was acquired by S.A.B. Miller in 2008 from the original family. Okay, the aroma Oh, such wonderful aromas. <clears throat> Pale, uh, lightly roasted barley malt. Spritzy or zesty or grassy hops. Oh, fantastic. Let's go, let's go with the flavor. Lightly roasted barley malt, pale, I mean, uh, biscuit, um, a nice hop zing, such a balanced round beer. Look at that beautiful lacing. You're going to tell me this beer is poor? Are you insane? <laughs> uh, it's got a Best Buy date. That's a plus, February 2014. Um, and it's a 12-ounce bottle, so it's being marketed toward us Americans. And it's got a beautiful embossed bottle. You can see that embossed design. Girls, this is not the swing cap. They've got those two with the, it was traditionally ceramic. Now it's a wonderful plastic cap. Now if you get the really big ones, the expensive bottles, which are like gift bottles, they still have ceramic. <laughs> wonderful sweetness, a light and crisp and, and, um, pleasant mouthfeel. The finish is just like that. It's a, uh, I guess the finish is crisp. Crisp, clean, refreshing, super drinkable. Oh man, are you kidding me? <laughs> there ain't no way. How can, and not a bit of skunk people. I bought this bottle at Martin Wine Cellar, but you can get girls at so many places. Um, this is why you have to try the beers yourself, because if you listen to Rate Beer and Beer Advocate, sometimes, now on the craft beers, they're pretty solid on a lot of the craft beers. I mean, the people rating those beers will give you a good rating, but then they'll turn right around and say, gross, that's horse urine and, and all these ridiculous things, you know. Or it has no flavor. Well, I can guarantee. I can guarantee. Guarantee you. I can guarantee you that this has a lot of flavor. Um, they pick up a little bitty bit of metallic, but that's not really metallic. I think it's just the hops. Sometimes they'll give you that little. They'll like push you over there a little bit. Um,
hey, if you don't like the style, don't drink, don't drink lagers. But uh, <clears throat> lagers are fantastic, a fantastic style of beer, and this is one of the exemplary lager beers of this world. Believe me, a it's an A for beer overall. Okay, you can go toe to toe with most craft beers and it's an A plus for lager. I can assure you that. I can assure you of that. So les et les bon temps roule, a jewel, a jewel. I could go on, but I won't. It's not it's not necessary. Keep up the great work, S A B S A B Miller. This is just fabulous exquisite etc etc et and I'm in this review by saying y'all come on down to wintry New Orleans <laughs>